without the tiniest sense of shame for leaving my dearest wife at home. This time I traveled to Jordan with my father Gintas. The first place we stayed at was called Concord Hotel. From here, all the best known tourist places of the city can be reached on foot. Most of the economy type hotels in Amman look pretty much the same. Clean bed sheets and authentic view. What else do you need? We will rest when we get old, my father said, and we started the downtown tour. Next to the Roman theater, there is so-called folklore museum. Some of the exhibits here are from those times when Amman was a part of Byzantine Empire and was known as Philadelphia. Travelers who enjoy long walks without a prior plan will love the winding streets of Amman a lot. You won't find any modern shopping centers in this part of the city, only tiny private stores everywhere you look. Locals are incredibly hardworking and very polite. It looks like everyone mind their own business and don't show too much attention to Western tourists. In Lithuania we have a saying that you can force a person to leave the village, but you will never force the village to leave the person. Both of us are village boys, so two days in a big city was more than enough. We decided to look for some fresh air and large open spaces. In about one hour ride we reached so-called Mount Nebo, a possible burial place of the Prophet Moses. The remains of the Byzantine church are kept under the roof of a new building. About 25 kilometers to the east there is the Dead Sea. Actually, it is more like a huge salty lake splitting Jordan and Israel. There is an old saying that only two forms of life may be found here, bacteria and tourists. This is because the water in the Dead Sea is a few times saltier than the one in the most of the other seas on the planet Earth. While my dad and I were enjoying a beautiful, yet windy day, a traveler from Italy approached us. He was interested in what was the feeling of swimming in the sea, where it is basically impossible to drown, 
and where we got all the good Dead Sea mud, which is so well known for its healing properties. Wadi Musa, or the Valley of Moses, is a small town located next to one of the seven new wonders of the world. A perfect place to spend the night. How you doing? Hello. Hello. Most of us have heard of the seven wonders of the world. Most of them were not too lucky because the Cheops pyramid is the only one that survived to this day. There is also another list, a list of seven new wonders of the world. One of those wonders is located in the heart of Jordan. Yes, I am talking about the ancient city of Petra. If you are lucky, you will see snow in Jordan once in 5 or 6 years. By the time we left Petra, it started snowing. Not everywhere, only in the central part of Jordan. This is how we decided to travel south and spend there a day or two. Aqaba is the most southern city in Jordan. I won't lie, it feels like it's another world. Palm trees, fancy hotels and restaurants. Israeli city Eilat is located only a few kilometers away. Western travelers come to Aqaba for scuba diving in the Red Sea. The government of Jordan even decided to sink a few tanks and a combat helicopter in order to create a so-called underwater museum. Aqaba Castle is a historically important architectural monument which is widely visited by the city guests. 
the first fortress was built here in the 12th century. Soon it was destroyed and after about 400 years rebuilt again. My dad couldn't imagine a trip to Jordan without tasting Arabic coffee. The coffee that we tasted here was a bit different from the one we are used to. The reason probably lies in the fact that in Jordan it is customary to add some cardamom. The charm of the Bay of Aqaba tempted us to stay, but we did not surrender to such temptations. Since the weather conditions in central districts were much better, it was time to travel to the famous Wadi Ram Desert. On our way there, we even met a few western cyclists. Hi. Where are you from? Hello. 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 Excuse me. From France. Ah, I see. <laughs> and you? From Lithuania. Lithuania? I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. But we are calculating if if we will uh, manage to do it before uh, before the night. I, I see, so, yeah. But uh, <laughs> we will continue a little bit and maybe at the end find a, a truck or something like this to, uh, okay. to finish. So if, if you cross us, then maybe you can, <laughs> of course, you can yeah. help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See you, but good maybe luck. You, maybe see you in the village. On that canyon yeah, up? Yeah, the canyon and then you find the, from oh, the canyon to the left. Yeah. Why the Ram or the Desert of the Moon should look familiar to most of the movie lovers out there. A whole bunch of movies about Mars were filmed here. The Martian, directed by Ridley Scott, is not an exception.
The Shoba Castle, also known as Montreal, is one of many historical places that we visited on our way to the north of Jordan. Iraq al-Amir is the name shared by town and nearby caves. About 500 meters south of the town is located the so-called Al-Iraq, a historical site. In northwestern Jordan you will find way more vegetation than anywhere else in this country. At this point we were only a few kilometers away from the border of Israel. It is important to mention that travelers who purchase so-called Jordan Pass before their trip do not have to pay entrance fees in most of the tourist sites in Jordan. One of those sites is Pella Archaeological Site. If you have questions about the Jordan Pass, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Our trip was coming to an end. Our last stop before the flight back home was Jarash, probably one of the oldest cities in the world. 
My father decided we should find a bit nicer place for the last night than the ones we stayed at before. This is how we got to the Atom Hotel. The owner was a nice young man about my age, living with his family on the second floor of the same building. It feels so good to know there are still a few places like this one where exhibits can be touched. It feels so great to sit on one of the stone elements and imagine the stonemason who carved it thousands of years ago.